Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the Brilliant Lake on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, we got quite a few things done in a previous video. Firstly, we went to Jack's radio booth and we recorded a radio broadcast with our dear friend Robert about how we opposed the construction of brand new apartment buildings on the lands of Providence Oaks. Uh, what else did we do? We also spoke to Maureen and she told me that she's going to be having an open mic night at Moe's Diner on the Sunday, the night before we leave, and she insists that we attend. <laughs> we also then spoke to uh, June and Mickey and had a lovely night around the campfire, drinking some booze and smoking some of the good stuff, even though Meredith didn't smoke any of the good stuff because she is a good girl. And they told me that they're going to be leaving for Canada soon and they've given me the RV and they're going to leave it at Laurie's garage. So Meredith has now got, <coughs> God, sorry about that, God, flipping out, my voice malfunctioned. <laughs> But Meredith has now got herself her very own RV that she can fix up and go on a few fishing holidays if she wants. But we can also use it to get one of the other optional endings in this game. And uh, I think there was one other thing that happened. Oh yeah, Frank Coleman has been uh, put on paid leave, I think, for being a naughty boy. So uh, yeah, Frank Coleman's not working here at the moment. I think it was something to do with gambling, but I don't think it was confirmed. But let's jump in our truck and let's start delivering the mail. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. P.O. Positive or that key? The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. Music time. Sweet. So we're going to have a lovely day of sunshine. Oh, you do love a bit of sunshine, don't you? I do love a bit of sunshine. Don't know about you guys and girls. I know some people are a fan of the rain, but me personally, I love the sunshine. I don't know why this has just randomly popped into my head. I've got absolutely no idea why this has popped into my head, because uh, nothing's happened to even make this memory pop in my head. But suddenly, a memory that's popped into my head was uh, many, 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 many years ago, just walking to my friend Josh's house, in the summertime with my uh, Game Boy Color and uh, then me and my mate Josh walk into my other friend Sean's house and then both of us sitting on his front door porch playing Pokemon. I think if I remember correctly, they were both playing the new at the time, Pokemon Silver and Gold. I think they both had the opposite one so they could trade Pokemon and uh, I was still playing the fantastic Pokemon Yellow on my Game Boy Color because for some reason, I never, ever, ever got to finish the game, Pokemon Yellow, because I never knew where Surf was. You know, the, uh, the uh, hidden move Surf that allows you to uh, travel across the water, which you needed to be able to continue with the game. And I think my mate Josh told me where it was. And it turns out, if you ever play Pokemon Yellow, I might be getting this very wrong right now, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you play Pokemon Yellow, uh, if you want to get the hidden move Surf, you have to travel deep into the safari zone and find a random house there and speak to a lady and she gives you the, the uh, hidden move um, or is it a TM? TM or HM, whatever it is but she gives you the move surf but it's awkward reaching it because obviously you can only spend a certain amount of time in the safari zone so uh, if you didn't reach her house or locate it in time you were kicked out of the safari zone because the safari zone was where you would uh, find a few rare Pokemon but you only had a limited amount of time that you could spend in there. So if you didn't know where this building was, which I didn't, you'd never find the hidden move surf. <laughs> so yeah, he told me about it and I was finally able to finish the game. Here's your mail. But I've got no idea why that randomly popped into my head. I think it's just because we're driving around this little village and it's sunny and I guess it's somewhat like my area. Well, my area is a lot more built up than this game, that's for sure. <laughs> Because I'm basically in London, like I said at this point. My area is just a just another part of London at this point. Won't be long before my area becomes central London. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But I'll be I'll be moving soon, Wolf of Wolfettes. I think I've spoke about this on the channel, but I will be moving at some point. I can't sound happy about it. I don't really want to move, even though my area is crime filled and absolute shit, and is becoming more and more cityfied every single day that passes by. I do like my area. Mostly because of the forest that I go to regularly. So moving will be, you know, be a bit of a problem. But 
at the same time there are a lot of benefits to moving which I won't get into because ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> ain't nobody got time for talking about all that oh, I, feel, I feel like the commentary in this game has been it's been a good one more more bets certain games are just good for me to commentate in also uh, my mum pointed this out actually but if you look in the corner it actually tells you where you're standing <laughs> So I'm at 200 Jackson Street. I never even noticed that. I've just been looking at the number on the door and just memorizing where I am. So uh, yeah, but if you actually want to know where you are, just look next to your map. I never even noticed that little bloody uh, address there because I'm flipping blind apparently. But yeah, my mum noticed it and she uh, told me. So shout out to my mum. Give my mum some love in the comments. Absolute legend she is. Absolute legend. She's also starting her driving lessons today again. So uh, yeah, give her some good luck in the comments. Nope. No answer. There's never any answer. There's never any answer, Meredith. Gamios had a certain amount of money they could spend on development and they didn't want to pay more voice actors. So uh, if they don't want to pay the voice actor, that person will never be home. <laughs> I like how I've memorised where everything is in this game though, because it's a small map, it's not too difficult to memorise stuff. But uh, reminds me of my days in San Andreas and Vice City. I got, it got to the point where I never, ever, ever had to look at the map. And that's very rare for me. Like, I always have to look at the map. But for some reason, San Andreas... Mm, these look like bills. As always, being nosy. San Andreas and Vice City, I played so much. Especially San Andreas. I knew where everything was. Like, if you needed to know the location of something and you didn't have a map for some reason, maybe your in-game map was broken, if you rung me up at that time, I'd be able to tell you where it is easily. <laughs> I'd be able to give you a detailed guide of where you needed to go. Not anymore though, I've got no idea where anything is now. Ah. I do hope Grand Theft Auto 6 ends up being good when it comes out in the next 50 years. That would be good, wouldn't it? I wonder if I'll still be doing YouTube then in 50 years. I wonder if YouTube will even exist. I kind of hope another video service uh, starts taking off and gets the same popularity as YouTube. Because I will. I do promise you, Wolf More Bets, I will leave YouTube. You might have seen in my comments recently that I've been complaining about the... Uh, the, uh, the likes not registering. But yeah, I've been having a problem for the last couple of weeks where if you like the video, I do get the like, but it's not publicly shown. It's like I could have maybe, my video might show that I've got two or three likes, but if I go onto my analytics, I've got 10 or 15 likes, you know? So publicly I've got less likes than I've actually got and it annoys the hell out of me because I don't get many interactions, I don't get many views and all interactions matter and some people do look at the number of likes a video's got and determines whether they want to watch it or not because they can't make up an opinion with their own brain so they need to see those higher numbers of likes to watch the video and then I get more watch time so when I've got less likes on the video it, it does affect the channel but uh, every time I message YouTube about it because it's happened a few times oh no oh no Meredith's here her name's Meredith innit or Miss Jenkins oh no oh no oh, she's gonna bend my ear now isn't she but yeah, every time I've contacted YouTube about it over the couple, last couple of years, they always respond with a generic robotic uh, reply. We detect no issues. Yeah, bollocks, YouTube. You detect issues. You just don't want to admit it. How you doing, Miss Jenkins? How's your pussy? Oh, dear. You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, hi, Miss J... Mildred? How so? Oh. Her name's Mildred. Is something wrong with the cats again? It's just this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. I think, I think, if I remember correctly, Mildred, are you gambling? If I remember correctly, because, uh, because Frank Coleman places a lot of bets, he does a lot of gambling, I think people were giving him, like, uh, envelopes with no stamp on, uh, with their betting orders, and he was doing it, and because he was using, obviously, the post office for his own personal gain, that was against the rules, and now he's been, you know, I guess, reprimanded and fired for a couple of weeks or whatever. So I think that's what Frank was doing. Because I don't think they actually tell you properly what he was doing wrong. But you sort of work it out just by playing, I guess. Mildred, are you gambling? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. 
He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? I mean, uh, this sounds like an absolute dream come true. I wouldn't mind looking after a hundred cats. That sounds like a great day. A hundred dogs would be better, but I love cats too, just as much as dogs. I'll do it for you, Matt. I'll do it for you, Miss Jenkins. Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Yep, I don't think I've got anything planned. No, we definitely don't have plans for tomorrow. Sure, no trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. If I'm looking after your house, your fridge becomes mine. So any cookies in the house will be mine as well. Ah, is she going at seven? Is that seven in the evening? That's a bit late to go to the hairdressers, ain't it? Do you go to hairdressers that late? I don't think you do, do you? I don't remember any time any of the women in my life going that late. It's always been an early thing. Oh! It's me RV! It's me granddad's camper van! Oh, look at that beauty! I've got to get one of those in real life, Wolf and So If we live in one of those, we don't have to pay rent. Like, if I live in one of those, my job that I've got right now would be perfectly fine. Because all my money would just go on, you know... A little bit of uh, buying gas canisters for my little mini cooker inside the camper van. Uh, I guess charging the battery of the vehicle so that I've got electricity in it. I think I'd be perfectly fine. I should just start living in one of these bad boys. Park it in the park somewhere. Everyone will start calling me a gypsy, but never mind. Sweet. Oh, look at that few, man. I love them. I need to get one of these. Before I die, Wolf Morphex, we're going to get one of these. I'll make sure I make a video of it. Even if I'm not doing YouTube, I'll upload again just to show it. <laughs> Even if it's in 20 years. I didn't bring the package. Oh, sorry. Fuck it. All right, Meredith. I don't like your attitude. I was too busy lusting over the camper van, okay? That's lighter than I thought. Oh, well, at least it wasn't heavier than your fault. Yesterday, you were having a lot of trouble talking, uh, carrying things, weren't you? Meredith, look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. You know, that young couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? That's so tight. Here, they left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. I don't know. Could it stay here for a while? You can have it if you want. Ah, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I... Ah, oh, yeah, that's because, uh, yeah, when Laurie came over to watch a movie, she was talking about wanting to explore the world and she don't want to stay here working for her dad her whole life. And we did recommend that she goes traveling and she can save up money for a car and do her lessons. That's probably why we can give it to her. I mean, I don't think I'm going to choose the RV ending. If, if you want to get the RV ending, then uh, don't give it to Laurie. But as I'm not going to use it, I think we're going to give it to Laurie. Because I know Kid, Kid Beowulf would love to have a uh, camper van. So I'm going to give it to Laurie because I'm a good guy, you know. I actually don't really want it after all. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to have it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it. Oh, yes! That'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the Sea Turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... Well, first of 
first things first, Laurie, why the hell are you dissing the camper van I just gave you? And also, why are you holding an invisible package? What's going on? You look like Mr. Mime from Pokemon. What's going on? <laughs> look, at, look at her little uh, tape cassette in her, um, her pocket as well. Man, that's some vintage stuff right there, isn't it? Man, I haven't, had, I haven't had one of them since I was a kid, and even then it weren't mine. It was just, I think it belonged to maybe my dad or someone, I don't know. <laughs> and I, obviously I had a Walkman later on. We're going to call it the raccoon in honour of the legendary Sly Cooper. The raccoon. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. Don't put that package down somewhere because you'll never find it ever again. Where are we going to now? Oh, we're going into oh, we're going into the degenerate area now, aren't we? Where all the weirdos live, all the mass murderers. You know, Jack the Ripper, Yogi Bear. <laughs> Yogi Bear has to be a mass murderer now. Sorry, Yogi Bear. Uh, who else lives there? Uh, Michael Myers, I guess. Ah. I like these kinds of games. I don't know, I feel like out of all of the games I play on YouTube, I just like these. I don't know why. I feel like you already said this exact same comment a few videos ago, but I'm saying it again. I'm getting old Wolf Morphess, so I'm going to start repeating myself, as my nan always says. Man, I'm going to make sure when I get into my 80s, if I do make it to my 80s, uh, I'm going to make sure I never repeat myself. Just to make a point. <laughs> just to make a point. And then if there is some sort of afterlife or something where uh, I see my nan again when she does pass away, and uh, I see her again, I'm going to be like, hey, see? See, I got to my 80s and I didn't repeat myself once. So every time you repeated yourself 55 times in a row, I never did it. So it wasn't your age, you're just irritating. <laughs> oh, yes. My name does watch my videos sometimes. She might be hearing what I'm saying right now. Oh, oh, watch out, Bambi. What you doing? What's wrong with you? Stupid deer. God, you're lucky I've got reflexes of Neo. I don't think you can hit things in this game. If you try and run people over, yes, I've tried. <laughs> uh, the car automatically breaks. It's got some sort of like anti-collision system in this van, which is uh, pretty advanced for the bloody uh, 1980s. I tell ya. Oh, we're gonna die. We actually didn't have that much post to do today, did we? I think we might get through today relatively quickly. Raven Way. This place at least had like some sort of normal looking road. It might look a little bit less weird. Or well, they at least had like pathways leading up to their doors. <laughs> what is even the point in these stairs? Oh god, here we go. Michael Myers is going to jump me now, isn't he? You're a typewriter. Did you hear that? Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Important delivery. Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Exactly. Maybe you shouldn't mail order anything. Yeah, you don't want people knocking on your door. Don't do deliveries. Sir, if you don't want to be disturbed, don't mail order anything? <sighs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... Yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. You didn't know anything about me before you started shouting. And yet, you did it anyway. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here, and Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch, and uh, thank you. 
There you go. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? For Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. <laughs> no, wait. I got it. And then he says... What are you still earwigging for? Man, just put the package down and go home. Jesus, Meredith. But yeah, if you come onto the, uh, the mini-map... Let me zoom out. How do I zoom out? L2. You see those little orange markers, these? You can fast travel to these if you wanna. No, not that I, I don't know why you'd wanna, because this game is small anyway, so you, I don't see why you'd wanna uh, fast travel around. But if you do for some reason, then that's how you do it. But only to those orange places. But you can also set mark, uh, set the, uh, the van to drive somewhere automatically, and you don't even have to do the driving, so you can just enjoy the music. I did turn the music on off camera. It's, uh, it's got one song to play. So, well, but, but is, I think I heard like three songs, but normally the one same song keeps playing. But it is a very nice kind of song, you know. The, the kind of music you would expect to hear at in a place like this. But I can't have it on because uh, then I'll have to keep emailing uh, Gamios about removing the copyright claims. And I, I don't want to be bothering them all the time. They're probably busy developing another game and I ain't got time to be doing it either. So I, I thought, yeah, I might as well just turn the music off. Mind you, it is going to make one scene near the end of the game relatively weird because the music's going to be turned off. So you're going to have to just deal with that bit. It's going to be a bit dodgy, but it's all good. Involves K. Oh. So, have we got anything planned for after work today? Oh, no, I think Steve's going to ring me up, isn't he? Because he's been asking me to. Because uh, Steve's been ringing me up, harassing me, trying to get me to do a bunch of work for him, and I've been constantly ignoring him. And then he sent me some contract about some sort of million dollar deal or something, and he wants me to look over it, and uh, so far I've ignored it. I don't know, has he, has he contacted me yet? I don't think he has. Has he run me back? Man, maybe I've been fired. Not that that would be a big deal. Tell you what, Wolf Wolf, I kind of hope I get fired from my current job. You shouldn't really be saying stuff like that because obviously, you know, at the moment with how money is for everybody and how much the bloody uh, world has gone up in price, uh, having a job at the moment, you know, you need it. Oi! Oi! <laughs> what are you doing? It was definitely my fault. Also, I found out there's a horn in this game. If you press square. There you go. Never knew that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, my, my work. I'm getting real pissed off at my workplace. Really pissed off with it. I mean, I already don't like my job anyway. And you guys and girls know why. Like the history of where I work. But, yes. So, I get very annoyed with it. And on top of that, because of the prices going up. They now keep telling me to turn the lights off constantly. I work in the evenings, it's dark in there. I'm a cleaner. I've got to see what I'm doing, but they want me to turn the lights off because the, uh, the I, I, I can't remember what they said. The bill, the bill, the electric and gas bill was like 20 grand or something. I don't know over what time period that was, but now I've got to turn the lights off constantly. So I've got to keep fucking around, going in different rooms, turning the lights on and off when I'm done in them, and it's a pain in the ass and it slows me down and it's aggravating me. <laughs> oh man, I hate my job. So I wouldn't care if they fired me. They don't deserve me working there anyway. You, don't, you guys and girls know how hard I work. So they've got one of the best cleaners they could ever have. And uh, yeah, they're starting to push me to the limit. And I will just walk away. I will. I, I very easily would do that. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. <laughs> Mr. Incredible's back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say that. Yikes, you creep. Uh, you keep giving me jump scares. What? What? Don't try to be a wise guy. Or a wise gal, Miss Weiss. Oh! -ho -ho. I can't help being a wise gal. Very funny. That's also what your dad used to say. <laughs> I'll continue. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Thank God. Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Matt, screw you, Walter. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight. 
night, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. Why does she speak so damn quick? I thought I spoke pretty quick. Damn. Well, I don't think I've got anything planned to do tonight, so I'm, I'm, it's obvious Kay's going to ask me to do something, because I've come on holiday just to do favours for everybody. <laughs> I could have turned everyone down, but I never do. You sound a bit agitated. Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's journey, so I'm like, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can I get a shortcut to the bloody question? Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're totally right, I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out, you got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight, in Portland, got tickets, sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? I mean, I don't mind watching the kids, but I don't know what Meredith thinks about that. <laughs> I'm your Oreo. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh, my God. You serious? That would help me out in such a big way. And I would owe you big time. Huge. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Hmm. Interesting. Oh dear, never mind. Don't care. Can you be here around 6 p.m.? So in like 30 minutes? You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right. See ya. Yeah, but you never told me if there was a PlayStation there. That's the most important thing. All right. Who wants s'mores? Oh, they're going to ruin you, Meredith. You're going to go on crying, ain't ya? <laughs> Those kids are gonna eat her. Hey, 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 guess who's back? Oh, Frank? The criminal's back. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. I guess I can't blame him. That's a bit mean. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Ah, yeah, so it is all to do with gambling. I wouldn't say it's wrong, is it? I don't know, if people want to gamble and they want to, you know, use you to do it, who cares? As long as they're not getting themselves into any debt or, you know, possibly not paying the bills. <laughs> if you want to gamble, gamble. I mean, there's always a chance you might win and change your life. But, yeah, I don't recommend gambling because nine times out of ten you're going to lose because it's rigged. And they want you to lose. They want to make money. They very rarely want you to win because they lose money. So, yeah, gambling, very risky. Wouldn't recommend it. Especially if you're like me, very unlucky. Sweet. That should keep him off our backs for a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. What odds can you give me? Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I better get back to work. <clears throat> Sweet. Lovely. I think that's the first time we've ended a day. And the video has been 30 minutes long instead of me having to extend it to like 40 minutes and make the render time like five and a half hours. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. Well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolverts. Uh, next time, I don't think we've got anything planned for the next video except for delivering the post. And I think we also have to look after Miss um, Jenkins' cats. Other than that, I don't think we've got anything else planned. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolverts. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.